Tandel. 3-0, it was at the Old Trafford Stadium. Tottenham came, they saw, and they conquered. Beating match United 3-0 or more. Record breaking moment for them, but let's hear what our guests official have to say about this result. Welcome to final result. Official, all you are the team, you say if my you lose all of our be opposite club, you be Chelsea fans today. You don't run, come outside now. Uh, oh, no, don't mind you, matter. No, no, I'm not here for mind you. I think I'm here for I'm here on behalf of the Nigerian people okay. because we have one of our boy playing today and actually scored today. Because, uh, you know, final we, we reported about I think a month ago that uh, Dominic Solanke actually switched allegiance yeah, and is actually yeah. eligible to play for Nigeria because he wants to play for Nigeria. I don't know about the whole process again, but uh, from our report that time, we say he won't actually play for Super Eagles, but you know, say Osime the day nine now, but if it's day now, but regardless. Now, our player be Dominic Solanke from the name Solanke. So, I was, I, I was here for him and actually scored. Uh, switching it back to the club side now, I think uh, uh, two average teams actually played. I felt that uh, on another day, another day, and, and now maybe any of the team actually play on that team, they for win them. If Tottenham actually play on that team, and that team for win Tottenham, even with Tottenham they play today, if, if Man you actually play on that team, they for collect pass. 3 0. You understand where I'm coming from, yeah. but regardless, it was a beautiful uh game to actually end the weekend. Uh, so everybody will go back to work tomorrow. Regardless, <laughs> I think uh, Manchester United, I don't know why you guys deserve to be happy. I don't deserve to be happy at all. This result is a good one. One at the side, one at the best, one at the east. You understand? Uh, I think uh, so to an extent, they don't actually deserve it because of uh, I just think that uh, it's the fault of the coach. Yeah. There's nothing you tell me. I think Ten Hag is, is assembling. I don't know what he's trying to assemble. You understand? You're assembling your old players to come and do what? You understand? Oh, Even these players are actually assembling now. They, they were not the best playing in their club. Yeah, yeah. You understand? You look at the signing they make. Uh, make uh, Lenny Yoro, I think it was, it was the only actually outstanding name that actually comes in that signing bracket. And yeah. because he was linked to the Madrid, but the price was high, but he's injured. So I think I'll give him the grace of Yoro. Because yeah. the guy I actually watched him was good before he actually got injured, but that's by the way. I want to wish him quick recovery, let him come back to his feet. Yeah. Look at player design, Anthony. Who's Anthony in what football? Exactly. That guy, my papa, no, he's Brazilian. I'm a you know, that kind of thing. Okay, now coming to coming to the defense line now, the yeah. Manchester United were the only team coming for the yeah. There's nothing you can tell me. There's nothing you can tell me that he wants to come. He love Manchester United. There's not that he love Manchester yeah. United yeah. now. Based on say, he's CC. The lead now, a young version of Maguire. <laughs> Younger version. Delete is a 24 years old Maguire. When I never see anything, they will stay. You understand? So I think uh, that the, above all, it was actually a nice game. I think Tottenham actually improved. Uh, minutes, uh, Madison. I think this is the kind of numbers, this kind of performance you need to drop to get back to the England squad. And I, I believe, say the next call up, your name was Dida List because you actually Mashada Mifid well. Uh, Bent Akor, wow, what a player. I don't know why uh, Juventus actually let him go, but I think uh, he won't stay long at Tottenham because that kind of player could count collected. I was looking at the game and I was saying Bisuma was not there, yeah. uh, Papa Sa was not there, and I was saying what's going on. And they started the game, and Bent Akor actually controlled that midfield. So, regardless, I think it was a nice uh, 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 performance. performance from the. Now, from official, the, the second half, Manchester United were dominating the game for some time. For some time. What do you make you think, say? Oh, you're like, this question, they make me laugh. I want to make you laugh first because if, if you talk about dominating now, it depends on what you <laughs> tag dominating. Because, because, but, no, 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 to be honest, 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 Tottenham said we're not playing good good football in they the play second good. half. They're not exceptional. In the second half, half, in the second half, half with red card, okay. with Mayu red card, mm. they played Tottenham second half like this. Do you think if Mayu were complete, they would have come back to to, to, to draw that game? No, it would get worse. Like Bruno that actually left the game, was Bruno no the form. Okay. Since three, four matches, yeah. he does more morning. Yeah. You understand than playing football. You understand that, but regardless, it's heavy workload. Yeah. The matches where these guys don't play for the past three, mm-hmm. I was telling them that it will mm-hmm. be a tear. It will be a tear. But, Even if you marry wife, you you go to do and do and do and like you know go tire. She go tire now. Now they say that person where you know one married, they do who, who, who like that. <laughs> person you want married, you go they do a small small. So that anytime you enter your house, so she know quick old. Oh, so I think the man you don't actually wear and tear Bruno and it's actually showing the moment you have, you, you have a bright spark. And you are trying to build, you are trying to give him other players that are not so well good around him. Yeah. Eventually, he will be and So I believe that everything they do bring that. Don't you see how relaxed he is when he's in Portugal squad? Yeah. Relax, creating goals, scoring goals. Yeah. So regardless, I don't want to say Bruno. I think he actually deserved the rest. He's actually getting now. Yeah. You understand? Know, we will see before what, they what? say that. No, no, no. Before they say that, I'm going to be problem. I'm going to even deal now. You know, even the lineup. So who won't blame, blame now? Blame so now. the younger version, uh, delete, uh, uh, younger bro, uh, delete, my guy, younger brother. Younger brother. So the guy, like, I think uh, the recruitment process is the, is the, is the problem, is the foundation of the problem. Yeah. You are signing a striker.
striker. The striker has never has not even put pen to paper yet, and he's telling you he's not a number nine. And the coach went ahead and you're still playing as a number nine. What's the logic behind it? Do you want to play four four two? If you are playing four four two now, and maybe you are using Zagzi now and uh, and Holland, I would say okay, you actually pictured that uh, Holland was not a striker, and hence why you actually not partner them. But well, you are using them for each other. Holland does not stay in the. Uh, I say Holland, Zagzi, no, they stay for box. Yeah. I wanted draw on collect. Rashford is not in the best of form. Rashford, let the first goal if you look at now Rashford goes yeah. Pass the ball to Ganacho. You won't carry ball go. Then Van der Ven enter. If there's another fraud we'll talk about another time. Another big fraud we'll go talk about another. We see Manuel Lugate. Manuel Lugate. There was a reason why PSG let him go for a 17 years old. Uh, uh, waiting with this uh, boy from Benfica. That's another deal. Yeah. Vitinha bench Lugate. Una go carry him. Manchester and Vitinha. That, that, that's money for you. No, you know, wait, wait now. Man, you went to PSG now. Mm. They saw Vitinha there. They saw uh, Fabian Ruiz there. Yeah. They saw which other midfield they did there. They then uh, Neves there. Then of now all Ugarte people, now Ugarte we no see much play. Now carry Manchester and Amu not too much. Now talking about about the signing, the person we will get to replace Bruno Fernandez now. <coughs> now Messi Mount. I like where this is coming to. I like well, where well that is calm. No, My please, you. please, please, please. I don't like that word. I don't want to hear scam. It was a good piece of business. You gave you said you wanted a like player. This. No, please, please, please. You wanted a player. I gave you a player. You paid. You were even happy that you wait. No, you were, wait, wait, please, please, please. You were happy with the business. You even added five million add-ons. And you use that win FA Cup. You gave me five million, but I shake your hand. You gave me a Sancho for one year loan, and I should pay 25 next year. I will pay that. I will pay 30 million for Sancho. Three matches, three assists, but that, I don't want to talk about Chelsea. It's about Mount. Now we swear for him. Chelsea, Chelsea don't swear for Mount. Judas, betrayer. He go flop. I'm so happy of what. Should be they don't break his head now. Can't play with Mount. If he says he go play one match, go five weeks injury. That's the that's the that's the effect of the swear. Now that's karma for you, my brother, because uh, I feel that uh, Chelsea actually loved Messi Mount as yeah. one of their own. You understand? They were tipping him to be the next Frank Lampard, yeah. but that's the by the way. And he actually did what he did. I know there's no loyalty in football. Let's be frank. There's no reality in football. Football is, is football. But regardless, I think uh, Messi Mount on Chelsea fans actually took it personal. I did text and I saw it for long. <laughs> me personally, I swear for Mount. Okay. The only time if you make me forget, forgive Mount now. Yeah. Now, if you come up for Man you now, maybe go and that small team. Maybe championship. Mm -hmm. I find the wish you were small, small. Maybe building career. But for Man you, you will fail. You will okay. fail. <laughs> Official, last quick one. For the 30 am side, who should have to be the best for you today? Yeah, there was a whole lot of them. Uh... Vicario was brilliant. Uh, it was solid. I like his passing. That is the goalkeeper from the back. Uh, Romeo Machado, the defense. I like his physicality. Yeah. Like, like I've always said, I like a Rudiger type of defender. Van der Ven. Wow. Pacey. There are so many to look out for. Like I said, Ben Taco. But personally, I will give it to Madison. Okay. I think actually control that midfield, drawing fouls, whipping the free kicks, everything. I think if Madison actually finished the game, probably would have seen another goal. But that's by the way. I think in the 30 side, I will give it to Madison. What about Manchester United? Sir? Manchester United, they all play. Yeah, but me will not lie to us. I will not try today. Yeah. I won't lie to you. But I know our present. Who in the save match, uh, which goes in the save against a team of winner, 